Good afternoon, everybody. It's Keith Couch with Rocky Mountain Peterbilt's Rush Truck Center in Greeley, Colorado. Got a beautiful one for you today, one you don't see very often. Uh, it's a 2021 Peterbilt 567 and a Heritage Edition. We don't get a whole lot of these through here. We need to, I think we need to order more of these. It's kind of the uh, same thing as like what a uh, Pride and Class Edition is to the 389s. That's kind of what this Heritage Edition is uh, to the 567s. But a lot of the stuff is just standard. It just comes on it. It's just really a good looking, really trims it out nice. You can tell it's a Heritage with a badge back there in the sleeper. Gets a little Heritage badge up here on the grill. And this is kind of a dead giveaway, at least it is from the factory, that it's a Heritage. And then you get a Heritage here. Um, this one's in Legendary Gray. One of my favorite colors. I know I say that all the time, but beautiful color. Just gorgeous. It's a glass effect paint, they call it. And the frame, as you can tell, it's painted on this one. It's a flame red. Um, just a gorgeous truck, set forward front axle, 265 inch wheelbase. Um, your polished mirrors, your chrome mirrors, your chrome visor, that's all standard with the Heritage Edition. These uh, polished closeouts, those are all standard with the Heritage Edition. No lights, none of that to mess with. Um, this one's got shore power. It's got an 1800 watt inverter inside. And then obviously a plug for your engine block heater. 72 inch stand up sleeper. So you can see, and we'll go inside here in a minute. You do get a window on the, on the 72 inch on the driver's side. 7 inch stacks. You got a chrome visor. I do like these 567s. Medium def tank. You got a 110 fuel tank on this side, 150 on the other. This is a battery pack for the smart air. This is your smart air. That'll run your AC for you when it's hot out, but you don't have to run the truck. So that's really, really nice. Really nice addition. And as you can see right underneath there, um, that exhaust, that's for the S-bar heater. So you have heat and AC on this truck, and you don't have to have the engine running. No window in the back. Just did some load lights and a CB antenna on the back. Um, like I said, that's a battery pack to run that smart air. And we got a couple of jump posts back here. So if you're running a pony motor, reefer, anything like that, and air ride. Then if you do want to put lights in, we got we got our packs there. It's got a 13-2 steer axle, 40,000 pound rears. And I believe 11R22.5 wheels and tires, disc brakes all the way around, and there's the line for the full lockers. So it does have full lockers. Outboard mounted fifth wheel, as you can see there. Low air leaf suspension. They went a little bit more basic on this one. Love that painted frame. We got round hole, aluminum wheels, Michelin XDN two tires. They put a lot of extra stuff on these once they get them to their yard. It's your heritage edition. Everything's polished. So take a look at the motor. A little frosty here this morning in Colorado. That flame red's almost the same as Cummins red. You can see here they grease them from the factory, these blocks. Um, Keeps them from squeaking. 
Didn't do an air ride steer axle on this, it's just spring. Disc brakes up front. Um, very nice color combination. On the 567s, they do the anti blowdown deal a little bit different. You just to shut the hood, you just shove that up. The Davco fuel filter. And it's a 565 1850 torque on this one. We can do a 2050. One unique thing about the 567s and the 579s is all your air valves, as you can see, they're all outside the cab. The 389 still uses the older technology. So you can occasionally hear an air leak or get an air leak inside the cab. That never happens with a 567 or a 579. Everything's electric over air. So you have electronic signals running the air valves. Let's go inside here. The weight to this truck, I believe, oh, let's see here. Yep, 18.786. Heritage package only comes in brown. If you are a uh, Got somebody here watching this from Peterbilt. I would plead with them to give us a, a gray with black seats, you know, something like that. So I would love to see this in a in a black with maybe red stitching or even tan stitching, but just black seats. Very unique shifter knob. It's wood. Really good looking. And pretty much everything you see inside here is standard with the heritage package pretty much it's kind of the like i said like the pride and class is to the 389s getting her fired up very nice wood this is really good looking stuff and it's simulated wood but it, it looks very nice With the smart wheel you control your radio here cruise control here Power windows, power mirrors, heated mirrors, it's a pull cord for the, the air horn. You can put a lot of gauges in these. Um, we didn't do a whole bunch with this one. Heritage seats, heritage stitching, memory seats. So when you get out, they go all the way to the floor. And when you get on them, they uh, go back to where they were. Let's see if we can... Uh, there's our gauges. AM, FM, CD player, Bluetooth. Um, with the Peterbilt uh, climate control, um, you can shut it completely off. Or just turn it to on, hit auto, and then this adjusts. Heats or cools, whatever it needs to do to keep it at that temperature. That's the way to run that. You see we got the full lockers there. Got a PTO switch. Suspension dump. Rear locker, front locker, inner diff. And then that's your sliding fifth wheel. This little tray folds out. You want to put a computer on there, a laptop, uh, iPad, things like that. Tablet. That's that's the same as the Platinum. Platinum does that too. You can tell it's much wider between the seats than a 389. It's a much wider cab. Way more room for like a cup holder and everything there. Then it's cut out more behind the seat. So it's just much more open feel. So over here, this is your smart air system up here. Um, over here and then your S bar heater is here so cool and heat this is your normal stuff when the truck is running cool and heat this one even has uh, so this is the ambient lighting you can put it up put it down anywhere in between so I'll show you what it does if, if I lift it up just gives you some nice nice lighting there just down there's back up Lots of storage. I kind of overdo it on storage on this one. 
storage underneath here. Got a closet over here with a mirror and your fridge. Very nice fridge and it's actually quite good size. So I just wanted to show that to you. Factory mounted CB. And being the ultra style cab, I mean, you got all kinds of compartments above the windshield and above the doors. A place over here for a flat screen TV. And you got the Heritage logo in the back of the sleeper. You can get these in a double bunk as well. Um, got a window on each side with a screen so you can get some get some air through here. And then if you lift the lift the bed up, you've got a lot more storage under there. Um, subwoofer, but that's all your HVAC stuff. It's all underneath there. So, very easy to access. Shut the ambient lighting off so we don't run the battery down. But beautiful truck. I love the colors. I just, I wish we could get them in a black. So, just thought I would share this one with you today. We don't see a lot of these Heritage models through here. We do a lot more 389s, but beautiful truck. Legendary gray, flame flame red frame 565 1850 torque 18 speed in a heritage edition so let me know we can get these if it's a heritage the interior is brown so we just kind of need to match the exterior colors of something that works for you so it's keith couch with rocky mountain peterbilt's rush truck center in greeley colorado like and subscribe if you would i appreciate that I'm trying to catch up to some other guys um and, and I have, so thank you. Uh, it's helped a bunch. Um, look forward to you next time. Happy New Year. And we'll see you in 2021.